like, I sent you a message on Facebook, and then I was like, Wait, I don't have his number. So I'm like, I'll just send him a message on Facebook. That should be fine. Uh, yeah, it wasn't fine. Sorry, I don't check Facebook terribly often. No worries. Yes, sir. My dad discovered Facebook yesterday. I mean, exaggerating a little bit. He, um, he spent three hours just looking through his newsfeed. Nine, okay. Twelve. Give up your weapons and surrender, and I'll spare your lives. Yeah, I'll keep. I will obviously on the play. Pastor? Oh. Pastor. Yeah. You should have surrendered. Ta da! Pastor. Jace. Okay, since this is a new video, this is a Jace Rinse Prodigy. Sorry. I definitely don't own those. And haven't asked to borrow them from Josh. I'm trying not to do that more than I have to. My name's Wu Fei. I'm not hiding anywhere. This battle will be over in practically no time. Chairman the scale. I'm sorry. Andrew's the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter. Three, two plus one plus one counters. When it dies, put Let's X on the number of so creatures. Oh. Don't get so flustered. That gun is not going to oh. go anywhere. And don't forget, it's quite deep here. I said it's combo here. Pass. Okay. <laughs> why don't I show oh, you something? The combo is strong with this one. Tutelage? What's this? And all Live? Observation yeah. Trigger? Took these pictures. Don't you Force. think it's an awful lot like the thing we saw? Treasure Cruise, which always hurts. Treasure no, Cruise Sphinx's tutelage is brutal. There are reports that a mobile suit factory Gotta do it, Pastor. a spaceport, and troops searching for a capsule much like ourselves all came under attack and have been completely annihilated. So there are four? Five altogether if you include the one that I believe has sent. Five, five of them? There are five Gundams? One, two, five, three, two, three, sir. Because we made it out alive after an encounter with a Gundam. Oh. Arm scales? Yeah. Combat. Mm hmm. Same dose. 18. Pass to you, sir. Trigger? I'm surprised that you're leaving. Armor. Armor. Still early in the school. Forced. Tutelage? Loot? Twice? Two blame. triggers? She's okay. been so busy. Tremoka. She just returned a trip to outer space. <laughs> okay. Arm scales. Okay. I'd love to take a trip to outer space. It may also just be the case time. that Sphinx's tutelage I isn't good enough as a card now that Battle for Zendikar's out. Because of oh, all yeah, the devoid running and all the Eldrazi. Right. Oh, and uh, right. I need to discard. I yeah, I do need to discard. To party. Okay. Okay. Island? Good morning. Um. Pastor? Sounds like Eva's around. Oh. Put two, put three, plus one, plus one counters. Quiet it's protection from the color. Okay. I'd like to introduce a new student to It's protection from purple. Ha. Uh, My name is Hiro Yu. Okay. It's the, uh, the card from Unhinged, uh, sure the that pink that's... teddy bears. Protection from pink. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's a big one. As horrible as this is, uh -oh. we're going to do it anyway. Do it. Do it. Do it. I choose counters and fight. I'll bet you do. <laughs> uh, six, seven, eight. You have zero marked on you. And swing it. Ten. Okay, there we go. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Gotta find something. Oh, trigger, trigger. Yes, sir. Yeah, protector, wind sweat, wooded, canopy. Yeah. Jace? Mm -hmm. Monastery Siege? Mm -hmm. Cons? Okay. Alright, so. Pass turn. Oh. Kill you. Do it. 
Falconer. Outlast. Yeah. Each creature out of control now with a 1-1 counter now has flying. That it does. Swing 8. Alright, go to 2. Okay. Ah! Ah! Hi, Tony. Pass turn. Okay, so. What? Trigger, 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 trigger. Ah! Is how this works. One, two, three, four. And then, and then Monastery Siege just give me another draw, which is done twice. Alright, so that'll double. Yeah. It's not enough, though. Green. Okay, keep going. Ah, okay. That's the thing. And then I have to discard now? So. I don't think I have a choice. However. The Alliance headquarters discard part of the water veil. Oh, I have more shit. Yeah. <laughs> Loot, trigger, trigger. Kill you. Uh, okay. Uh, now I have to discard, after which uh, Jace will flip. There's not a single card here that I actually want to get rid of. All of them are beautiful. Hey, hero buddy. I hear you ripped up Lilina's invitation yesterday, huh? Would you do something like that for? I guess this is fine. I'm a class so I'm kind of choked you treat her like that. Aren't you ashamed of Trigger? yourself as a gentleman? Well, Jace was a forest. Okay. No, in all seriousness, this is a flipped Jace, so... Tell me sooner next time. I'll give it to you instead of ripping it. It's a pony. <laughs> he has ascended to being a, a This is one of my carrying call tokens when I play modern effects. Josh gave me two, and they're in blue green, so I'll take it. That's work. In any case, this is an honorary Jace. What's taking so long? We're having trouble discharging the mobile suits as the carrier isn't equipped for them. Uh, so he's at five. I'll get out my dice. Captain, I have Lieutenant Zex from Specials on the line. What does Dre's little pawn want now? Minus three. Well, I'm going to give part of the water veil flashback. I realize I may be out of line for saying so, but don't you think the fact that this search is taking so long... We're going to cast part the water veil? Good. I'll take an extra turn now. Good. Trigger, 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 trigger. Yep. One, two, for okay. the first one. One two for the second uh, one. One two for the third one. Ah. Uh, to let us make some repairs to our submarine. One two for the fourth one. Well, I am not doing well on that front. Nearly got me. Come again? Nearly got me. Yeah. Not that much. How many of that? I got you. I think there's enough. Um. Lieutenant Six. There isn't anything wrong with this submarine. I know that, but it's the only way he'd agree to help us. Rip it! Rip it! For fuck's sake! Find what we're after. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. I'll discard temporal trespass. Okay. I see that everybody's here. Yeah. Let's begin our horsemanship class. Today we'll practice doing some new exercises, and I'll explain the points. Treasure Cruise? It's a change. minimum 12? Yep. Yeah. Oh, One, two. Okay. That guy doesn't Three, need to be four. taking any lessons. Five, six. <laughs> seven, eight. Five, ten. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, finally. <laughs> Okay, but on the other hand, that was also kind of a god draw on this front. Two tutelage, a, a siege, and a flip to Jace. And if I need that in order to win, I am not doing that. Well. So let's go to game two and see if that can happen again. Okay. <laughs> but that's the deck when it does its thing. Although I only took one extra turn of entrance fees unpaid. Jeez. Honestly, at this point, I'm thinking of taking out Temporal Trespass. I don't think it's good enough relative to, you know, like, a part of the Water Veil is a potential win condition. It's a 6-6. Six, six. 
It's right. usually cheaper for me to take a turn with that, and it doesn't deprive my graveyard from cards like Treasure Cruise. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? The, I mean, the one that I saw before that was all turbo turns, like part of the water bill was like his best take extra turn card. I believe you. Um, so I could totally see that that would be you know, reason to to maybe up the, you know, keep that at four and then maybe go down on some others. Yeah. But I think the one that I saw was a modern too. I may need more fogs, but with Theros rotating out, I don't have Whelming Wave, which is my old displacement wave. Right. It doesn't hit, uh, it only hits creatures. Which is good by me, of course. Um, and what else did I lose? I also lost Dictative Prefix, which is huge. Yep. I lost. Uh, there was another fog that I lost, I just can't remember what it is. Winds of. Kill Tal or whatever that is. Well, that's green. Mine was mono blue. Oh, yeah. I've lost either spouse in 15. Five, five, yeah. Zero. Good. Yeah. No sand cancer in Pisces. That's Lieutenant, right. let me handle this one. That was that was a this is workhorse. Space, you know. I'm aware of that. Please leave this. It seems team. underwhelming, but that well, card did work. Well. So I'm gonna sideboard one card and see how it follow. works I'll be or doesn't. Orders. I actually don't have a sideboard. Not for Hey, throw everything in my graveyard strategy. Fair enough. Just have to aggro you out faster. Gotcha. I'll see if we have any more fogs in the format right now. Like any mono blue fogs. Mm -hmm. Like Icy Blast and Displacement Wave. Maybe there's some way that I can push Displacement Wave into the deck, but... It's hard when it potentially messes with your own conditions. Yeah. I can't remember if there's a new one coming out next next week or not. Yeah, I need to be looking into that. That is so loud. That is super loud. I think that last one wasn't even a shuffle. It was just me like picking the cards up like an accordion. We've lost contact with all of our mobile. You're like, I just want to feel them. Oh yeah. Magic the sensuality. I don't. Know. Oh, it is against my better judgment, but I think I'm going to try to do it. Likewise, I'm going to try. Yes. For Combat. The endless what aggro. Sixteen. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just wish you had a board wipe so I could be like <laughs> 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 like a pinball machine. The yeah. the balls are going down. Because yeah, every time they move, they get bigger. <laughs> Jace's sanctum. Oh, okay. Pass turn. So far, other than until Jace's sanctum, I just played cards straight off the top. Weird top decks. Here's the big one. Avatar. No. Reach, trample, enters the battlefield with a plus one. Oh, God. Plus one, plus one counter on it for each other creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter. So, one, two, three, four, and then one extra from Hardened Scales. I got a two minute eight seven with Reach and Trample. <laughs> That's 
Welcome to standard, folks. Welcome to standard. Come back. Yeah. Swing eight. Go to eight. Pass turn. All on two lands. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. It's like one of the few times keeping a one lander is profitable. Pass turn. Hey, it paid. Hey, it's a wing swim. Hey, we have stuff to do. You're completely irrelevant life total. I don't know. I could win. I'm probably not winning with the Awakened Land plan at this point. Pretty sure I don't. Just like you. But it could be. Winds of Calcisma, Fate Reforged. Yeah, that's a card. Was that a common or an uncommon? Yeah. Oh, that was loud. Combat? Yeah. Uh, we're going to... What's that? You want to join the six? One, two, three, four, five. Which, thanks to Jace's Sanctum, only requires five mana. Kill me, I swear. You have the protection one. You do have the protection one. Okay. Uh... Six, seven. Pro blue. Yep, that's it. That's game. Yeah. Uh, I'll get my scry though. No. <laughs> scry, scry trigger. Got scry anyway. Normally I wouldn't like a hand with two servers, two servers of the scale. <laughs> but in that particular case, I made an exception. What was that, like turn five for you, I think? Yeah. Turn six? Yeah. Because I had five lands, so it was turn six for you. Even so. Yeah, that's the thing. I'll be at 20. Yay, he's Damn. at 20. Damn! Kill him with fire. Wait, I don't have fire. Kill me with like so your Selesnia's colors and Selesnia's like communism. Like like not communism like big state, but communism like we're in a commune and we're all gonna like do for each other sort of thing. So synergy. Synergy, that's a word. That's a good word. Beautiful. It's like we're I, gonna synergize together until your face is caved in. That's that's the word that like have you ever seen? It's like the word in, in, the, in text pairs these days that has become what it meaningless because of how often you see it and how varied its uses are. Right. Our management team's number one goal is to promote synergy. Okay. Can you be a little bit more specific, guys? Good job. You know that's. Our... They always like to hear the word teamwork. And vertical integration. Okay. Go ahead. Blow them out, Miss Melina. No one knows yeah, what that Melina. means. I know. In all seriousness, synergy is a good oh, way to describe right. it all. I'm keeping. Happy birthday, Melina. Yeah. Well, I should have. Yeah, I'm on the play. I didn't say anything, so I'm on the play. I think in this. Yeah, it's probably better to be on the play regardless. In the control match, I say I'm on the draw. Okay. Okay. He's driving an ambulance. Pass turn. Must have been someone else. That's him. Wind swept. Which yeah. direction was that right. ambulance headed for? Is it a turn one hardened scales? Gee, I wonder. Where are you going, Melina? It's a forest. Please continue the it talk. Could be. I'll be back it could be. It may be. It probably is. So the first time that I read that card, Hardened Scales, I think no. I did a mental shortcut that a lot of people did and said, this is a one mana doubling season? No. Excuse no, very much not. No. It's just an extra, not double the number. But in some ways, it's so much better than doubling season. Mm. I've never seen like such one mana. Severe. Yeah, because it's one mana. <laughs> Service. Okay. Go ahead. Just a little old one one. Yeah. To my Jace friend's prodigy. Yep. Past turn. I found the wheel. There's a gun. Where's the gun? Doesn't make sense. There's no other metal being detected. Where's the gun? There Where is, is she? I can see it from here. Huh? Right. Let's inform Lieutenant Sex. Good job. You found it. Yeah, but it's amazing. There isn't a single scratch on it. I have to say, our enemies have come up with an impressive beast. But 
Yeah. 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 We can become fierce beasts ourselves. Itty bitty teeny tiny, but with the craziest art. Yeah. Okay. More. Yeah. It looks like he's juggling that hadron up in the sky. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, I will. Oh, Jace is a zero too, isn't he? He is a zero. Do you mind if I block? No, because that's fine. It's, it's not the real card. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I'd like that's to block that. That's fine. You blocked it. And that's turn? Yep, fast turn. Damn! What is this? Loop. Island. Fast turn. Where's this light coming from? It's the enemy! The you know, one here. thing I could do to try to improve the deck is just simply adding fetch lands. My Jace isn't turning on quickly now. Yep. If I had the fetch lands. He would definitely turn on faster. Yeah. No kidding. And Temporal Trespass, and Treasure Cruise, and so on and so forth. Yeah, because what we need to do is we need to turn on Jace. Mana, Gorger, Hydra. Whenever a player cast a spell. Yeah. The explosion that comes when Mana Gorger enters the battlefield, apparently. I defeated it! Yeah. Swing three. Yes. Uh, this yeah. time, got to do it. 17. Go ahead. Cast about 15 spells and we'll end this thing on the next turn. Loop? Yep. Oh my god, I swear. Island. Island. Guess what my hand is full of? All these lands counted as spells. Last turn. It's on self this suit is identical to mine! Even the location of the self-detonation device! Serving the scale? Trigger? Si, senor. No need to destroy a good Gundam. I'll just use it for my backup supply. Hi. Seriously, I think I want Endless One in my Animar deck for 0 mana 16-16. Or on certain board states, a 0 mana 6 billion, 6 billion. I feel like if I do this, I'm going to seal, seal your fate, so I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Dramogus Queen? Modes. Counter and fight. Uh, counter on. No, you don't. Trigger. Don't do it. What would you like the counter to go on? <clears throat> Mana Gorger Hydra. Oh, okay. So then you'll get the other counter as well from the from it being cast. Yep. What are you doing? Tell and this me. happens before it resolves. So, yeah, I think that does, does kind of seal my fate. I can tell. I want to know who you are. Let me go to combat. Hero. So this would be four. Four. Six, seven, eight. Oh, you just came in this turn, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. So seven. Ha ha. You're in. Okay, I will. Say goodbye. Yeah, I'll take it. We go to ten. I need more spells. I believe you. Trust me, I do. Really, what I need is two hardened skills on the field, and then it gets really ridiculous. Past turn. I believe you. <laughs> I don't a, want you to get there, but I believe you. It's three counters for every spell? Yeah, yeah I'll take that. Are you all right, it kind of gives your deck inevitability against aggro decks. My creatures will get bigger, period. Once you have the hardened scale out. Avatar. Remember, you're injured. Yeah. Stop it! What do you want to shoot? Two mana, seven, six. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Trigger. Yep. I'll bet. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. How come I end up? Blinding spray. Trigger. It's already reached. I'll take two. You must have miscalculated. And draw a card. There it is. My fog. Yeah, my fogs. It's a fog. It works. It does. Don't look, lady. So you took two. I did. I'm sure you got two reasons for being That's right. You better just yep. walk away. Save yourself a lot of grief. My goodness. Land, 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 land. 
It's my mobile suit. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, you fool? Astray, stop on upkeep. How many cards do you have in your hand? Two. Everything is finished. And that. Upkeep. Up, 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 up. Okay. Okay. And now, we, yeah, we may draw. Damn it! You know it's got DM's impact tolerance, which means he's the mobile suit's pilot. I'll pass. I'm trying to do that just in. Just in case you drew the, uh, well, any of your cards for that, uh, the protection and yeah. the counters. Because at that point, I just lose. There's a jinx that once you see a Gundam, you will not come out alive. I hope the jinx doesn't... Gotta do it. Take an extra turn? Yeah. It's just the, the value of the fair one. That's game. Good games. <laughs> Alright, so what this tells me is that I need to do something serious to the deck to, to make it better. I, let me, do you mind if I do a deck deck after this really quick? Well, oh, actually, let's do it. I'm going to do it right now. As oh. soon as you can get through another. Okay. First, I'll sort the lands. Spoiler alert, they're all islands. And they're all the same. They are. They are all the, uh... Pengus lands! From, uh, the Dr. Robotnik's snow ping as usual, I see. <laughs> yeah. Say goodbye. Uh, well, 26 lands, because, for obvious reasons, hitting all my land drops is kind of important. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 26 islands. 26 penis lands. Specifically this. This is what gives your deck power. Penis lands. Okay, no, in all seriousness. In all seriousness. Let's get these guys out of the way. Get these guys out of the way. Ha ha. Now, for the actual spells themselves, I'm going to do a little bit of sorting here. I'm going to sort them by, let's say, wind conditions. I don't know. Probably have to do some editing. So, the first cards that I have, unfortunately, are proxies. You, I do have the ability to borrow these from the store owner here at The Missing Piece. However, I did not ask for them today. These are Jace Vrin's Prodigy. It just does another win condition. It's another way to get cards in the graveyard, draws for Sphinx's tutelage. Jace Vrin's Prodigy is, I hate to say, sort of, I think, essential to the deck. I'm gonna try it with Anticipate at some point, but I think that this is kind of necessary for what we're working with. So we're gonna set you over here, Jace buddy. I have one Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Before Battle for Zendikar, this deck wouldn't have been possible, but before Battle for Zendikar, this card was, card was absolutely amazing. Bonkers, even. I would submit. Because you didn't have all these Devoid creatures running around completely screwing with your ability to wrath the entire board with a Planeswalker. So even the Alliance's mother computer can't decode it? Major Stanley, do you think he's an intelligent member of the Robots? Something like that. Unfortunately, Ugin isn't as good as he used to be. I'm still running him as a one of because he's super solid in some matchups, and he's still a good win condition. And if you can actually fire off his ult with the Sphinx's tutelage, that is seven triggers, and that usually is enough. By the time he's, by the time you've gotten to the late enough stage in the game where he gets out and can use his ult, they'll probably die from seven triggers. Although I say that, but again, Sphinx's tutelage. Well, let me get to that right now since I'm on Sphinx's tutelage. This card as a four up is not as good because of all of these devoid creatures that are running around. Um, 
Simply put, devoid means colorless, and colorless means they stop Sphinx's tutelage. And so, as a result, you may not be able to mill the opponent not using that. Are you suggesting that there are a number of different types of these fighting units, Lieutenant? Yes. Gundam Wing is playing in the background, so I apologize for all the background noise. Now, it feels a little bit like a turbo fog deck. Just a little bit, in that you're preventing your opponent from doing things on their turn. The flavor that this deck takes is that you're not giving them a turn. Because you have four part the water veil, which sort of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Uh, take an extra turn, and in the late game, becomes a 6 6 that you can use as a win condition while you continue to take extra turns. I know this is going to be met with. Uh, uh, with groans from people, but it feels a little bit like Emrakul. It, when you awaken it, it gives you an extra turn and then lets you attack after that. Although, obviously, you're not attacking with a 15 15 flying annihilator 6, so on and so forth. Uh, next is Temporal Trespass, which, despite being another extra turn card, may be my least favorite card in the deck. I don't want to quite say that it's the worst card in the deck. But 11 is tremendous. It has to compete with Jace for its prodigy, flipping. It has to compete with Treasure Cruise, which is huge for Sphinx's tutelage triggering. Uh, maybe as a one of this card is good. I actually think I would keep one in, but four just seems to be cluttered in the matches that I've been having. Um, just too many. I, I find that I discard that card an inordinate number of times. Now, because we're playing Mono Blue, we aren't playing any real fogs, of course, so our alternative fogs include cards like Blinding Spray. Good old Blinding Spray. Creatures you control or your opponents control get minus four, minus oh until the end of turn and draw a card. Uh, we do care, of course, about the draw trigger for Sphinx's tutelage. Um, minus four, minus oh is enough to stop a lot of creatures in a lot of decks, especially the very low to the ground, burn, or aggro type decks. Um, as we've seen though, it hasn't always been enough, but enough of the time it is, I wouldn't run it if it weren't for the draw trigger as well. There is a three mana version that gives minus two, minus oh. Sometimes that's better. I think the f minus four, minus oh is actually where we want to be, all other things being equal. Especially with another card we're going to come across in just a moment. I also run four Icy Blast. This is another uh, fog type effect in blue. We're tapping your creatures down instead of actually preventing combat damage, but that's that's fine. We're okay with that. Um, now, the ways that we try to trigger extra draws. Obviously we... Excuse me, my apologies. We have Jace looting. That's true. We have extra turns. We get the normal draw step. We have Blinding Spray giving us a draw. We also have Monastery Siege, which often you'll find yourself naming as cons, especially in game one. You'll name dragons, perhaps, in games uh, two and three against Burn, um, or something like that, when you need to protect your Jace, or you need to protect your face. You need to not get hit repeatedly. You might find that you need it there. Uh, but most of the time, it's just, it gives you an extra draw, so an extra trigger for tutelage. It gives you an extra card in the graveyard for cards like Jace, Treasure Cruise, Temporal Trespass. You're naming cards. Speaking of Treasure Cruise, we have four. We don't really want Dig Through Time because it doesn't trigger tutelage. If you're running a list that doesn't use tutelage, however, feel more than free to add in some Dig Through Times. If you have a win condition other than Sphinx's tutelage, for instance, Dig Through Time might be better. Especially since you aren't going to get to play with it for long. It's banned in Modern and Legacy and Restricted in Vintage. So, uh, and then lastly, Jace's Sanctum. I had one extra slot, I wanted to do something with it. Sanctum seems pretty alright. As you can see, the curve of this deck is really, really high. And Jace's Sanctum lets us cast our extra turn spells for one cheaper, and it lets us get a scry on. So... That helps us if we get turn 4 Sanctum, that's turn 5, part the Water Veil, and we can start going off from there. The Scry is huge when you don't want to hit lands anymore. We have 26 lands. After a certain point, we really don't want to hit lands. We want to get them out in the early game. Um, instant improvements that I can see to the deck. Immediately, 4 Flooded Strand, 4 Polluted Deltas, I just don't own the cards. So that's why I don't have them. But they'll fuel your graveyard, they'll fuel your Delve spells. Um, so that's one thing that you could certainly do, if you have them. 
obviously makes some matchups a little bit worse, the really aggressive decks, but it's not enough of a difference. You benefit much more just by having them. Um, other than that, I've been, as I mentioned before, Temporal Trespass in the four matches I've played with this so far has been the most underwhelming card in the deck by a mile. Maybe one, but I'm looking to replace the other three. Um, as a result, this isn't going to be a turbo turns deck in the traditional sense. We're not going to go turn after turn after turn after turn. I, I learned from playing this that that is called Magical Christmas Land. Or at least it feels like it. We're not getting that often. We're not getting that at all outside of gold fishing. Um, I would replace these potentially with uh, more Jace's Sanctums or other win conditions perhaps. Uh, honestly, you might even be able to get away with something like Anticipate. It's really cheap, it gives you some good selection, it comes out early. It's the only two drop in the deck other than Jace Friends Prodigy. So you might be able to do something like Anticipate. Uh, if you can fix... Here's another improvement, although I'll need your help. I will need your help on this because I've been brainstorming and haven't come up with an answer. Although, I also haven't been looking at the spoilers for uh, Oath of the Gate Watch. And if this, if this video comes out after Oath is released, that tells you how long my backlog is. Um, if you can run the Displacement Wave in your main board, you're set. This is a this is an unbelievable card, but unfortunately, unlike Whelming Wave, which is what I ran when Theros was still in the format, uh, the Displacement Wave returns all non-land permanents. If it were just creatures, great. We would run that in this deck as other Temporal Trespasses. Hands down, no doubt, period, done, it's over with, right? But we don't have that. And as a result, if we run Displacement Wave now, we risk returning our Jaces, especially our flipped Jaces, to our hand. We risk returning Sphinx's tutelage to our hand, and that can set us behind more than it sets our opponent behind because it returns our few win conditions. If you can think of a way to get around that, let me know. I've thought about Ugin the Spirit Dragon, but again, Ugin isn't as good in this format because of all the Devoid creatures. Ugin's Wrath isn't a catch-all like it used to be. Otherwise, I would just maybe, yeah, I think I would jam four Ugins and Displacement Wave and call that a day. That seems pretty good. Um, other than that, what other... You could splash another color, obviously. I'm trying to run this mono blue. It sounds it sounds weird, considering that I have four Jace Friends Prodigy in the deck, but it, at least originally it was supposed to be a budget standard deck. That was the idea. Um, obviously Jace means it's not really a budget deck. At some point I'd like to try experimenting on playing the deck without Jace. If I add in Displacement Waves, Maybe that makes that easier? I don't know. I, I need your opinion on that. I need your help. Finding another way to add... A way to add Displacement Wave that won't harm our own win conditions. Anyway, that's basically what I've been what I've been playing, what I've been brewing. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments, let me know. And let my good friend here know, because uh, that way he'll uh, he'll Shrek me the next time around, he'll have a sneak preview. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. That's it.